Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to yet another episode of Challenge Mode in Pikmin. This time we're in the Forest Naval, which is a bit of a weird one again. Um, oh, there's a bread bug, of course there is. Um, let's see if I can get a nice easy start on the bread bug. Uh, oh, I can, at least. That's useful. Um, let's grab him with them. I actually want to not get the red on him. And come on, yep, there we go, cool. Um, that should largely deal with the red bug. Um, as in that will deal with most of his health, and then we'll just basically see where he goes next and have 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 that pellet be <laughs> tugged on. Um, did I mention in the thing that they're actually, yeah, the, the red bugs are the same family as um, uh, the dwarf. Oh, oh, no, you can kill him. Oh, I forget you can't, you just do tiny damage to him if you kill him. If you bonk him on the head with that. Um, yeah, bread bugs are the same family as dwarf. Um, dwarf um, bull bulbs. Um, the bull bulbs of old bears. There's a, there's a complicated phylo phylogeny there that's not really explained um, until the second game, but it's quite fun. Um, right, so those ones are fixed as yellow, aren't they? So if I chuck a couple of yellows over to them. Um, yeah, there's no real reason to benefit to focus on. Um, any one colour specifically here because there's very little combat to be done in this level so uh, if I just make this a couple of blues and then put a couple of reds onto these trees he says throwing a load of blues somehow I need to just remember to hold A more um, when I'm kind of drawing my Pikmin back um, and actually give them time to sort themselves out because I think that's the problem I'm having um, that they're actually not not organizing internally properly. Um, right, time for some gathering and some plucking. It's the same as usual. Gather some of the ones, gather some of the vibes, gather some of the... And then just kind of expand out. You can see where some of the other parts are. As I say, the, the level is completely empty of enemies, which is which actually quite nice for once. Because um, this would be a bit of an awful one. Because this is a confused... Basically, confusing layout plus nasty enemies would be a bit horrible. So this is... They kind of... They take advantage of the confusing layout and make it like a... Basically, an explorational puzzle, which I think is quite cool, actually. Um, that's well. In the meantime, while I'm plucking, I can grab these guys onto there. Um, and actually, the similar thing while I'm doing that, these blues can go up there. Can be some very inefficient routes on this. Um, pluck some more blues. Oh, where the fuck are they going with that? Well, I'm sure it'll turn up eventually. Right. And then, as ever, like I've kind of said in the last episode, it's all about just, you, you basically just need to s do a slowly increasing, almost like spiral radius around your base to make sure you co cover everywhere, really. Um, but you make sure you cover everywhere, starting with the places which are physically closest towards your base, because they're the ones that are obviously easiest to, to get shit back from. Right, let's put the blues on there, and i not got enough yellows. Guys, come on. Ugh. I'm not gonna. F what I was gonna say is I'm not gonna have yellows for the yellow. Um, oh my god, my head's brain what working pellet. Um, guys, I hate Pokemon so much. They are so fucking stupid. I get that the fuck out of the way. Then we split into two groups here. Blues onto that, and yellows onto the red bug. Easy. There we go. Why well, did that take so long in the first instance? It can be advantageous to take out... You'll notice, actually, that a lot of the rock walls that are normally here have gone. Uh, that is to make navigating around here a little bit easier, and indeed that does work. Um, but you can... There are a few left which you can knock down to try and make things a little bit faster for returning Pikmin. It's usually, when you've got as many as good numbers as we have, it's usually worthwhile doing that, if I'm honest. Right, I think we've now pretty much, after this last batch of plucking, we'll be ready to explore out a little bit more. Exploring is basically very worthwhile when you've got quite a few Pikmin, which you can easily um, trust to bring stuff back. Right, that's a red 10 over there, so if I set my best reds onto that problem, they should just sort that out amongst themselves. Uh, there's a red 5 there, I've got 5 reds here that can take that back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so another one for luck, I suppose. Um, right, uh, there's a blue 5 there. Yeah, as I say, you can... Hopefully we'll beat my existing score, which is I think 150 something on this? Um, because that, when I was playing at that time, I was being a bit careful because I was assuming there were going to be enemies somewhere. 
Um, so I was I was not exactly ballsy when it comes to um, having Pikmin out in the open, but it's here that I know I can just set set them bringing stuff back because there's no um, <laughs> there's no enemies to actually impede them in their progress. Um, impede their progress. Or beat them at their task, either of those works. Uh, right, this can move that, and then we can have these blues. Or bring that back. Have I got enough to get that? Yet yeah, no 10 on the move? How do I even get that? Oh, have I got to pull that out? Oh no, I can just get that down now. So, that will almost have enough. And if we just put a few more on it. And that should do it. What the hell? Why did they just bounce off in that way? Um, yellow. Are they just not going anywhere near for some reason? Oh, that should still go to yellow overall. It's net yellow. Yep, cool. Right, um, stuff's coming up there. There's a blue 10 down there. So if I can go and just quickly grab a few more blues, that should be sufficient. I should probably need to block a couple more. And there's a yellow 5 there from the bread bug that I still need to bring back. And then it's down onto the beach and places like that to explore. Um, did those... Yes, the, the ten uh, red ones did make it back. Oh, no, they didn't. Um, this one can always be a little bit dodgy getting these down because you have to trust them all to fall off properly. And anything that involves the word trust and Pikmin, you're going to potentially have a rough time if, you, <laughs> if, you're, if you're not fortunate. Um, right, now I can take most of these guys. Don't help them, you... F yeah, this is just about being efficient, which I feel like I'm very much not being at the moment. Guys, don't push. Everyone will get their turn. I feel like a lot of more of my blues than I wanted to went on that. Especially because I've somehow only got nine blues left. Right. Oh, and now I need to get these out of the way before that fucking red thing starts coming past. Um, this is incredibly inefficient, and I'm, I'm starting to hate it. Um, right. You guys all get on this ten. That should be enough to get that moving. That's all I ask. There we go. Leave that five there for now. Come back for it later. Because it's right near the entrance of my base. It's not like it's going anywhere. And plus, that's kind of why you want to take out the bread bug. Though it can, as I say, be real satisfying to kill the bread bug. And there's just all sorts of shit. Um, pops out of his little base that he's been secreting over the, <coughs> over the years. Oh my god. <sighs> and yes, that is technically correct use of the word secreting. As in to secret something. Died it away. And it's pronounced secreting. And it's not what most people think that word means. But it is, unfortunately in some cases. Accurate. Um, right, let's get these guys with that on the move. And then let's get these to bring this one back. And then I think it's time for some plucking. Because everything's basically on the move now. Then once we've got decent numbers, we go and explore a bit more. And it's the same kind of thing. You explore with a force of... Um, uh, with a force of all the colours of Pikmin, and then you just kind of split them off as you go into, into little... Um, into a section to bring back, because exploring with a hundred, like fighting with a hundred, I've often said is potentically problematic because you will just run into problems. Problematic, you should run into problems. Good one, very articulate. Um, but you might just run into issues with fighting folk, whereas, um, whereas if you are exploring with a hundred, it's like as long as you don't literally like, drown everyone, you'll be fine. Um, and it can be very handy because that means you can be much more efficient on how frequently you send back people with parts. Right, um, I think I also do want to flower these guys as well. By these guys, I mean literally everyone. We've got a ton of flower, um, of, of nectar, and since we've got 100, as long as the numbers are fairly balanced, I will actually just, yeah, flower all of them. I'll swap out for, I think, where I need more to... But I think that's, that's pretty much... I think we have been getting fairly even once so That's pretty much equal of all, so... We'll flower everyone. Oh, I think I actually did literally nearly flower almost everyone in one maneuver there. That was bloody handy. That wasn't even all my um, nectar supply. Uh, you guys, come on. Over here. Right, so, where to go? Firstly, let's go and take out this bridge. This should fall very quickly with this many Pikmin on it. Well, that was deeply satisfying. Um, so... You don't, yeah, there we go. I said, fuck, I didn't want to come back from him there. One, two, three, four, five. Send that going. Ooh, a red ten. Nice. And one. Two, that should be enough for that. Well, we'll see how much it's not enough by. Uh, missing three, apparently. And one, two, three. Yeah, this level's already pretty dark, and this darkening filter they have on it does not help. Um, I think there is fire over here, so I need to be a little careful. Um, right. And are there sheer wigs? 
I have been treating this as if there are no enemies, and I think there might potentially be sheer grubwig things here. Well, we'll find out. Let's do that. One on there. Ooh, five. What is that over there? Oh, those are just big um, things. Um, oh, 20 yellow. Nice. I probably got 20 yellows, actually, ironically. So that's not really ironic. That's just, fortunately, actually, uh, is the phrase you wanted to use there, Doctor, I believe. Right, that should get that on the move. Excellent. And then this should get 10 on the move. And assuming there's no nonsense between here and the base, which we'll find out when I try and walk past, I suppose. Um, this is why I wanted 100 mostly flowered out on the field, is just to basically sweep the sea clean like this. Um, there'll be something hidden in the corner, actually. No, excellent. All right. Um, then I guess my next task is just beachcombing here. Um, to see what we can find. Um, whoever the fuck can get them wants them. Uh, um, so let's have some blues in that one. And yellow there, and yellow there. Have we still got red? Yeah, still got some red. It's nice to just be able to trust Pikmin to do their own automation here and just then slowly bring back sufficient. Uh, ooh, a red 20. I've probably uh, I've got the time to get that, I reckon. As long as everyone's quite nice and easy on this bridge. I've probably not got to 20 reds, but I bet I can position it. I can maneuver it such that reds are the majority on it, and it therefore goes back to their onion. This should be quite quick to come down, but I will actually, I think, wait for it here. Because not like anything else I can do. There's a couple of loose ones in the water. A blue 10. Oh, a yellow 20. Oh, but then I have to do up on the other side as well there. It's probably going to be most worth it to put my effort onto that red 20, because I think getting both back are going to be pretty unlikely. Um, there were a few other things as quick to take on as this one was. Um, right. Now, I've got to balance my other numbers pretty evenly to make sure I don't accidentally overdo it. So, eight to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then blues. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that should now mean that the majority is still red. Wonderful. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to actually let that run, and then I'm going to go back home and, I think, gather the rest of my Pikmin um, for another foray out. I don't know how close to arriving any of my other stuff is. Stuff is clearly still trickling in, and I think this is just the way I'm going to have to play this. Um, as you just send everyone home, and just hopefully most of your shit makes it. If it doesn't, well, these things happen. Um, it's weird how they all come in from, like, completely different angles and shit. Um, oh, I should probably have knocked this down. Um, it's almost too late for that now. It's not the best usage of my time. But I'm going to do it anyway. If we can get it down before this 20 gets here, they might repath, hopefully. I want to try and get some of that shit that's underwater. Um, but as long as that red 20 can get back. Actually, so you know what? To that end, I am going to split off a group of additional reds to go and hasten that along its way. Don't get distracted by the grass, men! It's... Does that mean we did knock the thing down successfully? I think it does. That's good. Yes, um, so maybe that 10 will use it. Um, ooh. Don't know where they've come from, but I'll have them. Um, actually, they're probably just always there. Right, they're on the move. Excellent. Um, and one, why not? I have a feeling my record for this was like 150 or something like that, so in that case, I've actually done pretty well. Um, uh, there's another gate round here, isn't there? Oh, no, there isn't. Um, that's no, nothing worth doing over there, really. Because um, it's all just about what can I get quickly back at the end now, because we're pretty close to the time being out. I'm actually going to split the party entirely here and just take some of these blues. Uh, I know there's a 10 in here somewhere, which is worth getting. Well, there's a 1, certainly. There we go. If I can get these all on the 10, that yellow's are not worth it, because then you have to halfway dig it out with blues and then um, then ring it out entirely with ooh there's a 20 over there could I have got that not worth it, time is a little too short at the moment, I'm, f I'm afeard I think we've done pretty well here, hopefully that should all make it back that I think was the reds making it back because a fair few of my numbers just kind of went 
Skyward there for a moment. Yes, hello, fellows. You're all here. Very good, very good. Um, now, the other question is... So I... Red 20 will have made it back. Everyone's pretty much made it back, which is nice. Um, I guess we'll just do some odd um, ones at the end now while we wait for other shit to get back. I do like doing that, where you just dismiss them near uh, um, a group of pellet posies and just... Let what happens happen. And then we'll do those. Oh, I seem to have misplaced all of my reds. Oh no, they're all over there, that's why. Um, right, are those blues going to make it back up? That's the important thing. They'll probably take some stupid trick around. Oh, you'll also have noticed. You may have not noticed, but... That sound is me trying to press the map button. You can't do it. Um, no looking at the map in this mode. Was that all those blues coming back? Nope. That blue 10 may have just, 20 may have just not made it back, or a 10 or whatever the fuck it was. No idea where it's gone. Oh well. This happens. I got 235, that's pretty good. 237 even, that's even better. Um, 33. Did I just lose 5 Pikmin there? What the fuck? Oh, yes. Come on. Get the fuck there. Oh, nice. Good, brilliant. That made it just in the nick of time. Bringing me up to 253. Yeah, some Pikmin just died. Oh, maybe they were falling off a cliff and drowned or some shit. Oh, well. Let's see how we compared to my uh, previous attempt. So, we've got 243. Oh, yeah, 214 last time. Oh, we easily beat that. And again, this is like one of these gathering ones that's fairly even. Uh, or the Pikmin numbers, in other words, that might means. Um, so, two more to do. Next one is the Distant Spring, which is quite combat-focused. It's very, very dangerous. Um, so that'll be mostly a focus, I think, on yellows. Actually, it's kind of even because there's, like, there's a lot of enemies, and there's a lot of shit underwater, and there's a lot of shit up high, so you kind of do need to f focus evenly. So, 216 to beat on the Distant Spring. I hope... So far, have I beaten all of them? Oh, I have. Every time. Ooh. Gotta keep that trend going then of beating my original tries. Um, so, I hope you'll join me then. Thank you very much, and good day.